안녕. 
you made that Achilles count again. His name was Lerbuck, and he was the greatest sodding bard in all of Skyrim. Truth is, I ain't even from Skyrim. I'm from the docks of Anvil, the Gold Coast. Truth is, I like being on top. <laughs> yes, sirrah, I own the curved sword. I know it doesn't look like much, but in time it will be the finest specialty shop in all of Skyrim. They're the pride of Hammerfell, but I assure you, we don't make them as an affectation. If you are an enemy of the Thalmor, then I am no longer against you. Regardless, we are in no way in league with each other. I am not here to fulfill your desire for pain, or free you from your wretched existence. I fight so that all the fight. I don't care. Just get away from me. Don't bother me, girl. I don't like company. Never amounted to anything. Most people talk, and I don't like what they have to say. No way. My dad taught me that words can hit as hard as any fist, so don't feel bad for punching him back. I, I don't know what you mean. Are you angling for a fight? You've got a strange way of showing it. The way they disapprove of is me marrying my daughter. The way she laughs too hard at a bad joke, loves to sunbathe and covers her mouth when she lies. And she has ever her mother transferred her very soul into a new vessel. The sword she was awarded for winning that tournament was the proof that she was worthy. And the same sword I seek today. The real value is in its inscription. It names the bearer of the sword as the true heir to my ancestor and her love. Hey, ever try using three fingers to pick your nose? Of course you have. You're an idiot. Silas is my inspiration. If he could make a living out of some stupid museum, imagine what profit I could make up a better one. If they refused to pay my fee, I opened the letter and sold the information to someone else. Eventually, I earned enough money to start my own shipping and delivery business. Unethical? Oh no, there's no such thing in business. I think... My name is Olivia Moronin, a former member of the Mages Guild at the Arcane University in Cyrodiil. When the Guild disbanded, many of my colleagues were grouped to form the Synod. Theirs is an organization based on cupidity and lust of power. of solitude and visitors to our fair city from far and near. No, I'm the fence here. You come by anything you don't exactly own and I'll pay you some coin for it. Yes? And what is it you thirst for? Ale or blood? Ah, but maybe you're like me, and you enjoy spilling blood as much as you like drinking it. A game, of sorts. One that both of us can appreciate. We each kill six men. Gold is boring. I win, you do something for me. Flowers bloom on the land, children walk hand in hand. Sometimes I feel like it's lost all patience with my fingers. It's a cranky old thing and is quick to get out of tune. But when it's right, it can sing as beautifully as any other. Huh? What? Who are you? Oh, you. You come to steal my dragon breath mead? Well, too bad. 
some fellow already did that. Bald as a chicken egg and a face with just as much expression. <laughs> oh, do tell. You can always confide in me. You eat people? My RK, I hope not anyone I know, or at least anyone I like. Oh, but don't fret. Your secret's safe with me. Those witches, they work in packs. You ever hear the story of Orphan Rock? There was all sorts of oddities in there. I think she was a witch or a necromancer or something. In any case, I got out of that cellar and never stopped running. <laughs> Don't be absurd. Wealthy men will abandon their children and leave their wives the moment they see my amulet of Mark. You may paint me as selfish for thinking so, but most failed marriages are a product of compromises. You, tell me, do you think I'm attractive? Alduin is my arch enemy, my nemesis in love. Nelos is always talking to her, confiding in her, when he should be doing those things with me. <laughs> You're cute for a slowed, my lady, but you are not... That's right. Although I wasn't always a handsome bard, I used to be a handsome adventurer, and before that I was just handsome. <laughs> What's was a hero named Bragnar the Red who came riding to Whiterun from Old Rorik's stead? And the braggart did swagger and brandish his blade as he told about battle. Yes, take the sick one, Kareen. She lies all day in her own filth, gripping her stomach in pain. Of course, there is a way out. The girl lacks the courage to do it on her own. You can help her. Her body yearns for your still, to fill its fire. There's only one solution and it's permanent. Death. Ortho the Breton was very poor and worked his days at the general store. But every night he'd sneak out back and put on his floppy jester hat. Bells on with bells on, he tossed and tumbled with bells on. Floppy hat brings a world of pleasure When one man's junk is another man's treasure